Welcome back to Comigan TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the pop television I Love Lucy, number 654 and 655. This is Lucy and Ricky. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Uh, as you can see, we got both Lucy and Ricky here. Very nice pink border with the I Love Lucy logo. Uh, you got Lucy in her uh, housewife's clothing there and Ricky in his performer clothing there. Um, usually when he was wearing that hat and banging on the bongos, he was usually performing uh, Baba Lou or Cuban Pete, uh, one of those songs. Uh, there, were, there weren't there were too many songs he actually performed uh, in that hat and with the bongos. Uh, usually, uh, he more or less sang most, just sang most of the time. Um, but being in the hat and with the bongos, you know he's singing one of those two songs more than likely. <clears throat> on the sides here nice little display sides i'm not going to go over too much because you got to see uh see the packaging in the uh display part of the video uh very nice pink background though on the back as you can see you got lucy and ricky in pop form and then lucy and ricky in real life with the I Love Lucy logo. Uh, 654 is Lucy, 655 is Ricky, and 656 is Lucy in the Chocolate Factory. Uh, these are my wife's pops. Uh, she said she didn't really care for the Chocolate Factory episode. Uh, I'm, I feel the same way. It's That episode is very overdone uh it's not as funny as people make it out to be because it's so over portrayed so with that being said let's move on to the clamshells real quick uh, as you can see there are the clamshells they do come with snaps they aren't just uh, hanging there loose um, and in the display portion of the video I did not have Ricky's display base on him I actually didn't even really notice he came with a display base until I looked at the packages um, but yes both figures do come with display bases um, 
So yeah, very nice. The clamshells. Uh, my wife and I are both in the box collectors. She's only really got one pop that she took that she took out of the box, and that was her eleventh Doctor uh, from the Doctor Who series. Uh, mainly because that was her very first pop that I'd gotten her, and she didn't think to keep it in the box for display. She didn't realize you could display them in the box. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at Ricky and Lucy. But Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up on I Love Lucy. Uh, we've got three seasons of the I Love Lucy TV series on DVD. Uh, I got them for my wife a few years ago for Christmas. Uh, I always watched the reruns on Fox in the mornings if I stayed home from school or whatever. Uh, or if I had the day off from work, I would always watch it on Fox. I think it was on around noon. So, uh, but anyway, here you have Lucy and Ricky. Let's go ahead and move the camera down a little bit. There we go. As you can see, Lucy has some nice blush on her cheeks. Uh, I think I could be wrong. Uh, they missed an opportunity here to make these pops uh, grayscale, just like the series. Uh, I know you can get the series in color now, whatever, but it was best in black and white. But still, very nice. Uh, her red hair uh, really shines on this figure. Uh, it's actually more of an orangish color, though. Um, I don't, I never really quite understood why they call it red hair. Uh, even with me, uh, the people say I have a red beard. Um, but it's not really red. It's more of an orangish color. Uh, but I digress. Anyway, you got the nice little bandana in the back of her hair. Nice dress with the apron holding her hand out to the side uh, I'm not sure why she you know maybe is I don't know type deal I, anyway very nice figure the paint quality on this is very nice the detail on this on the dress and on the uh, apron is very nice uh, almost no paint bleeding that I can see uh, the rosy red cheeks they got her lipstick on uh, it's very unusual for pops to have mouths uh, but this one looks really good uh, the fingernails are painted nicely they even added her wedding band and her pearls there very nice and as I said both figures do come with display stands here's Ricky uh, as you'll notice, they kept on, they put his wedding ring on there. Also nice. Uh, got the strap for his bongos. Uh, nice detail on the bongo. Uh, he has his pocket square in his pocket. Uh, almost no paint bleeding that I can see. Very nice figure. love it uh i tell you if my wife wouldn't have bought these actually i bought them for her uh if my wife wouldn't have got these i would have probably got them for myself um great looking vinyl figures funko did a great job with these characters uh, i highly recommend picking them up uh, if you're an i love lucy fan if you're a classic tv fan if you're just a funko pop fan i highly recommend picking these guys up So anyway, that's it for Comageddon TV today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This will be one of the last Funko Pop reviews I do. Uh, especially this year. Uh, from now on, after 
the beginning of 2019, I'll only be doing them on a rare basis. Uh, I won't be doing really individual pops. I'll be doing more of a multiple pop review type deal. If I have individual pops that aren't a part of a, or that I don't have like multiples for that line or whatever, then I'll do a single video dedicated to them. Uh, but I'll put up multiple videos one day out of the month, just flood my YouTube channel with it. Um, it won't be on a regular basis like it has been. In fact, this is the first pop review I've done for the month of November, and November is almost over with. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Take care. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.